Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we have a new freebie for you. That's right, zero dollars. We're gonna check it out today. It is the T-Rex EQ81. Kind of a classic hardware emulation. It's gonna add a little bit of color to your sound. Before we check this out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so this is, as I mentioned before, a free plugin. This is going to be the T-Rex EQ81. Now to install this, you will need to install Custom Shop to get this free EQ. That's it, just Custom Shop, nothing else. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check out the EQ. Now right now I just have a, a couple of layers here. There's four layers here. Later on, we'll analyze how we can use EQ to make certain things pop. But right now, I'm just going to put it on to these two instruments here, drums and a synth. This is dry, no EQ. All right, now I'm going to play first two measures, then turn the EQ on. Uh, for the synth and then I'll turn the EQ on on the repeat for the drums. So just watch down here. You'll see what I do Okay, so what I did on the synth there one of the coolest things you can do with any sort of analog style eq is saturate the signal by boosting the input signal and turning down the output obviously you turn down the output so that what's hitting the preamp is hot hot signal and then you turn down the output so we don't blow our eardrums and our speakers so right now just listen to that soloed a and b What it does is it adds an extra saturation to that really makes it cut. And I also altered the EQ here as well. And I specifically altered the EQ in a way that it will cut through with the guitars later on. So right now, um, just the drums. We'll do the drums dry and then... Specifically on the cymbal, you'll hear it. So I specifically chose like a kind of a loose, fat sounding drum kit and then tried to make them a little bit more punchy and to cut through the mix there. And also carved out some of the high frequencies um, it made it a little more vintage sounding when we play with the mids and cut down some of the treble. A lot of the, the modern stuff, we want to have like a V shape, you know, a lot of bass, a lot of treble, and they kind of scoop out the mids. I don't want that. So I altered that a little bit in the EQ setting here. Now, let's go in and listen to the guitar with the synth at the same time which happens right here. Now the EQ is off for the synth and the guitar and they kind of clash and kind of fight for dominance in the mix there. Again, I'm adding some upper mids here to the synth. So I'll play these two measures and then turn on the EQ and you'll hear how it carves out its own frequency in, in opposite the guitar in contrast to it.
compared to and it, it does add some saturation there to the synth but it also the upper mids and it, it carves out it resonates a little bit differently and that was just tuning by ear all right so let's add it on the guitar And again, just kind of play those two there and start with a, like we have even a preset that says razor sharp guitar. So let's just try that real quick, solo the guitar. Wow, that made a huge difference already. Let's see if it plays nicely along with the synth. Now they're both a little bit too saturated, but one or the other would help the other one cut through a lot more if I only EQ'd one of those. Now finally, hammers. I really didn't want to EQ this too much, but make sure you have some good headphones or sub, but listen to this real quick. It's really nice, punchy sub bass there. Oops. So we have a lot of sub bass, but I might want to add like a little bit more in, in the higher frequencies or the mids there. So let's just try this punchy drums um, preset. Wow, that <laughs> that's really uh, shaking my brain there with the sub in these. And again, I boosted the output signal, the input and without turning on the output. So if we just want like saturation, boost the input. Now we get clipping, which can be a desired effect if you'd like to. So going through our high sh uh, shelf here, we can select where we want those frequencies boosted from 3.3, 4.7, 6.8, 10 to 15. That actually adds an, a kind of a, a tinny resonance to it, but these are metallic sounding drums in the first place, so it might be good. See, right there, they're, they're a bit muffled because I'm using like this orchestra, not orchestral, but this hybrid, really aggressive hammers library with um, a, a rock drum kit. So listen to how the EQ again, I've isolated which frequencies I want to boost specifically so that it plays well with the drums there or plays better. And again, this is all doing very quickly just to kind of adjust the mix by ear, which is why I really love these. Listen, and instead of looking at the line with the parametric EQ, we just use our ears and it does add color to the sound as well. to turn on the kind of preset that I had there. And right now we carved or boosted those frequencies in 3.3 there, and you can adjust as needed. Ten sounds pretty good, and three point three sounds good as well. Again, it's just about isolating those frequencies that and hearing them together. And I again suggest so use your ears and hear what sounds best, not just headphones but monitors as well. Again, this is just a really quick rundown and kind of tutorial here on how to use this EQ. It's a totally free EQ. It's it's nice. It's kind of a classic analog emulation and adds color to your sound and also allows you to add saturation as well as select your band, select your frequencies, boost or cut as desired. So that was a quick look at EQ 81 freebie right now, $0.00 go get it. All you need to do is download custom shop from IK multimedia. 
and you've got your EQ here. Thanks for checking this out with me. I will see you next time.